Toronto Blue Jays fans, they lose to the Baltimore Orioles in game two of this series. And let's just get right into it because there was a couple annoying plays in this one. Top of the third. Of course, the man that always seems to score against the Blue Jays, Ryan Mountcastle. Homers to right on a 1 0 count. Martin scores a two run shot from Mountcastle and is quickly two to zip for the Orioles. Bottom of the third, Bo Bichette gets going. He grounds out on this play, scoring Matt Chapman in his first game back, and the Jays make it 2-1 to one to cut the game in half. However, top of the fourth, Orioles extend the lead. It is Shiros with a double to left. McKenna scores on the play. I apologize if I butchered that first name, but Chinrinos, there you go. I got it. It is 3-1 thanks to him. Bottom of the fourth, the man who just came back, Matt Chapman. Over to left on an 0-2 count. Romel Tapia scores a two-run shot for Matt Chapman. And this game quickly within the Jays' grasp. But if Baltimore had anything to say about it, they take this one away. Hayes. Homers to center on an all one count. It's a solo shot. And the game is at four for Baltimore. Nevin then hits a sack fly to right field to Teoscar Hernandez. Ryan Mountcastle scores. Put five on the board for the Baltimore Orioles. They take the lead back in the fifth, make it 5-3, and extend it to six in the sixth inning with Mullins, a single to right. Mateo scores on the play. It is six to three in favor of the Baltimore Orioles. Gabriel Moreno tries to get the game back for the Jays. He gets two singles in the six and eights with a single to right, scoring Gurriel Jr. in the sixth inning. And in the eighth inning, a single to left field, scoring Santiago Espinal, making the game 6-5. It's not enough. The Jays do lose. Yusei Kikuchi, the losing pitcher, 2-3 and three on the season now with four innings pitch, four earned runs, four base on balls, and four strikeouts, four fours for Yusei Kikuchi. Lots of fours in this one. And Jordan Lyles, four and five on the season with five innings pitched, four earned runs, two base on balls, and seven strikeouts. Jorge Lopez with his ninth season of the season for the Baltimore Orioles and the Jays are now tied in the series one to one. So interesting now for the Blue Jays. They have Jose Barrios on the mound against Bruce Zimmerman. This one should go swell for the Jays, but we know how Jose Barrios is against these type of dynamic hitting and pitching teams of the Baltimore Orioles and he doesn't do too well. So uh, five and two on the season, Jose Barrios. 473 ERA. Obviously, the ERA is struggling, but he's doing a lot better recently, and he's been lights out for the Jays as of recent times. Bruce Zimmerman, the complete opposite end of the spectrum, two and five on the season with a 552 ERA, and the Baltimore Orioles now in the one-game win streak, hoping they could probably win this one, but I really don't see it happening. I think the Jays got this one in the bag. They will come back. Speaking of which, Gabriel Moreno has been so fantastic. Alejandro Kirky has been fantastic. Danny Jansen, when he comes back, he's going to be swell. We may have the best catching trio in the MLB right as of now. I mean, it, is, it has been extraordinary to watch Gabo Marino, the rookie, come out and start playing like he's a starter already in the, in the starting uh, lineup for the Blue Jays. And then you see Alejandro Kirk. He's got one of the higher batting averages in the MLB, the highest batting average on the Blue Jays. And he is doing phenomenal work behind. And it's just, it's, it's been unbelievable for this Blue Jays team in the catching department. And I'm really glad that we have those two guys still on our team. Remember when we were talking about trading Alejandro Kirk in the offseason? Thank goodness we did not because I knew his potential. I could see it through him and I knew it would have been a bad move. So good on the Jays for keeping Alejandro Kirk and Gabriel Moreno, who was also rumored to be traded even though he was our number one prospect at the time. So, Jays have Jose Brios on the mount tonight, and I just wanted to bring up one more thing. Literally thought I did not know this game was happening yesterday because I couldn't, I didn't know that they had a doubleheader yesterday. <laughs> so I saw the first game and I was like, oh my goodness, am I am I incorrect about this? But I was correct. Um, Miles Michaelis had a good chance yesterday night for the St. Louis Cardinals to get his first ever no hitter in history, in his in his career, and was one strike away from getting the no hitter. Who walks up to the plate? Let's see. Cal Mitchell 
right fielder for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Two home runs in the season with six RBIs. Not a big hit guy. All of a sudden, pulls a, a, a base hit out of his hat. Right through to center field. Over the wall, it's a ground rule double. And the, the chances of his dreams are broken. Now, if you're Cal Mitchell, what's wrong with you? You don't you don't want to watch you don't want to witness baseball history. You want to be the the knight in shining armor for your team. You were losing nine one, and you decide yes yeah I'm gonna like the. I just don't understand how someone could really, can seriously be like yeah okay, I have the opportunity here to ruin it. But I also have the opportunity to witness history and, you know, this guy will probably go and shake my hand after and be like, hey man, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Let me just go ruin this guy's entire dreams of a no-hitter. It just doesn't sit well with me. And as a baseball fan, I know these guys are professionals. I don't care. I really don't care. At that point, you have to be the bigger man. Let the guy get the dub. He was one strike away. All you had to do was let him get the one pitch. One. He was one strike away. It wasn't even like you were you were in a contention for a game. You just wanted to ruin this man's evening. So, in my opinion, that was awful by, by the right fielder of the Pittsburgh Pirates, who, by the way, are an awful team. So, I don't even know why they were still... It, it just triggers me. It triggers me. I feel bad for this guy. He was so close to getting something that many pitchers dream of doing. And he didn't get it because the one guy who can't hit a damn ball for his life decided I'm going to get the hit that I wanted and I'm going to be happy. Well, screw you because this guy was going to be happier than you. But unfortunately, he's not. So anyways, just want to throw that in there. Um. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe for more of these videos. And please make sure to turn on your post notifications to get notified when these videos do come out. One more thing. Please, please, please make sure to share this video with your friends and family. Helps me a lot. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Jose Barrios on the mount. 7.07 p.m. Eastern Time. June 15th at the Rogers Center tonight against the Baltimore Orioles. Let's go kick some ass. Take it easy, guys.